What about fusion? Are you bullish on fusion? Or you still think that it's a, 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 how long away, how far away is it today? I attribute the excitement in fusion to the fact that physics professors throughout the country, maybe throughout the world, have been telling their bright students for 60 years that fusion <laughs> is the ultimate energy source. Uh -huh. And I actually support the idea when people say, well, it is the holy grail of energy. And I say, yep, it's exactly like the holy grail. It's mythical. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> you will, you will have all kinds of, of power and eternal youth and everything. If you ever discover this holy grail, or if you right. ever find it, it may exist somewhere. I, and obviously fusion works on the sun. It works in thermonuclear weapons. You can do it on very small scale. You can make fusion work. And matter of fact, you're in Texas. You got a lot of fusion devices around your state. They use them in logging uh, for oil wells, but they put a lot of electricity in them and they make a few fusion reactions occur and they can use the neutrons from there to detect things. I've held one in my huh. hand. But it's not a particularly useful device in terms of producing energy. It produces fusion, which releases a 14 MeV neutron, which is a nice thing to have when you're trying to detect things underground. But huh. fusion energy? No. You're skeptical. I, I, I you're, hate you're, the you're, idea you're, that you're, people you're, you're skeptical. Use it. I hate the idea of people talking about fusion as a as a cure for climate change you know it just doesn't exist and it's right. you know once you get to having self-sustained chain reaction that actually produces a useful amount of power you still have to design a power plant you still have to build the power plant that's going to convert that heat into electricity and it's not a simple task because you know the the heat comes out at initially at 100 million degrees kelvin 